Okay, uh, number six says convert uh, 301 base four to a number in base 10. Well, when, when, whenever you're converting numbers, uh, the procedure is more or less the same. So the procedure is more or less the same. So what, what we do, what we encourage you to do is to just quickly label your digits starting from the unit digit. So quickly label it starting with zero, then one, and then two ascending like that. So afterwards, what you do is that you take the number, use brackets, please. You take the number, you take the base, and this one should be the power. So those little numbers that you're putting there, they should be the power. And again, you take the number, uh, this time we're taking zero, then multiply by our base to the power, our little numbers, and this time we're taking one, multiply by four to the power, zero, so like this. And we encourage you to always use brackets because you can get a little bit messy and we want you to be meticulous and careful. So three by four to the power two means four by four. So four by four, you get 16. And zero multiply by any number, you get zero. And here you get one multiply by one here, like take note, any number to the power zero, it's equal to one. Always take note so that you don't uh, make unnecessary mistakes. So three by 16, you get 48. Then 48 plus zero plus, here you get one. So overall you get 49. If you want, you can put a uh, best 10, it's still okay. Or you can just write 49 because any number to best 10 is equal to, uh, you know, the ordinary number, the ordinary numbers that we use, they are in base 10. So you get uh, 49 here. Let's move to the second part. The second part is 6B item one. So 6B item one says evaluate, you have one, Okay, okay, you have 1101. One. Don't say 1101. It's 1101 one, base 2. Uh, we are supposed to add with 111 one, base 2 again. So it says give your answer in base uh, 2. Don't convert these to base 10 and then you add and then you have to convert back to base 2. Uh, it would take like so much time. It's all about strategy. So here, two, uh, 1 plus 1. If you uh, join primaad.com. We have a very simple way of um, adding uh, number bases which you like and as long as you can add ordinary numbers then you'll be able to fare well. We uh, explain to you how you know it's very similar to the stuff that's done in primary school. So you uh, one plus one you get two but then we don't write two. Two actually means one set of two. Uh, remainder zero. So two means two plus zero. So you write the remainder and then you carry the one set of two. So you have one set here, then you carry. So here two again. So you have remainder zero, you have one set. Here you get three. Three means you have one set of two plus one. So you write your remainder and you carry your set. One plus one, you get two again. You're left with zero and you have, you have to carry over one set so here you get this so your answer would be one zero one zero zero this two like this so you're done and uh, for the b part two so for b part two you have one three one plus five subtract 42 plus five this is a very easy if you know how to you uh, do ordinary subtraction from primary school, uh, then you probably know how to work this out. So if you join Primoed, what you find out is that these things, they are ridiculously easy. So here uh, you say one minus two, then we usually say it can't. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, so if it can't, then usually normally if you're in base 10, you add 10 here, then be, this becomes 11. But then you're in base five, so you add four, you add five here, and then this becomes six. And then normally you add one here, yeah, we just add one set. So here you get five. And then you say five minus uh, six, you get what? You get four. And then here you say three minus five. Again, it can't. So you add one set here, 
normally we add 10 but then we are in base 5 so we add 5 this becomes 8 then of course you have to put uh, back the set that you uh, gave here so you say 5 8 minus 5 then you get 3 so this will be your answer and that's it yeah if you join Prima Ed, uh we have courses for this so uh, it's uh, really simple so that's it for number six let's move to question seven so question seven says the mean of three numbers is seven two of the numbers are four and negative five find the third number so whenever you're asked you find a number normally you start with let the number be x this is called defining the variable so after you define the variable what you do is you try to figure out how you would you will uh you would have used the if x this one you just treat it as a number it's a number you're trying to find it but it's a number so if you had three numbers you had four and you had minus five and you had x and you wanted to find the average how would you do it so you would say uh four plus x plus minus five this one so you have your three numbers then you divide by three you're supposed to get your average you're told that your average is seven so just write seven so you have four minus five four minus five you get minus one so five it's it's bigger size number and it's got negative so our answer is going to be negative then bigger number minus smaller number if you are in prima ed, then you probably are familiar with this so you get negative one so negative one over three plus and then at this stage now you want to get rid of the fraction so you want to get rid of three how do you do it this three is divided by so it's a denominator to remove a denominator we multiply but then you, you whatever operation you do on the left hand side you do also on the right or right hand side so that there is some sense of balance so x minus one is equal to seven by three you get what you get 21 so x is equal to you then you transpose this one to the other side so you get 21 plus 1 which is equal to 22 so you get 22 and uh, you know some of those uh math you can actually verify so question 8 says uh find a it asks you to find m minus n you have you're given this so this this one is a question of uh, substitution so formula and substitution so put a m minus n so what we do is just substitute m it's what it's half minus n and it's what it's two if you want just do the primary school stuff so here it's two by or divided by one so here 22 one times one you get one then one into two two times two you get what you get four then you get negative one minus three you get one minus four you get minus three so you get minus three over two like this so this is it you are done with your first part the second part now it's a bit tricky and i want you to be careful so the way that i advise my students to do it is to write to write it in because you're going to create many fractions if you create many fractions it's not very good for you so what you do is I want you to actually write it out so that you avoid those fractions. You see how easy this, this will be. So for our M, it's what? It's half. So here, MN divided by M plus N. It's simply MN divided by, you can actually write it as, as it is like this so that you avoid um, um, the unnecessary, you know, many fractions. Like you can have two denominators or something. You want to avoid that so but then always use brackets so here half minus minus two so work this out separately you get minus one divided by here we are going to use our primary school stuff so two here 22 that's one by one you get one one into two that's two two by two you get four and uh negative one divided by you're going to get negative um three over two and afterwards you say negative one multiply by you invert this so this one becomes negative two over three and negative and negative you get positive so at the end what do you get 
So yeah, let me just uh, put the cosine real quick. So negative and negative, you get positive. So one times three over one times three two over three, you get two over three. So that's it. So you get uh, <clears throat> two over three. So that's it for question eight. Question nine says express this as a single fraction in its simplest terms. So you have two by two minus three n minus one by n. So yeah, uh, these ones, they, they cannot be factorized. So the denominators, you cannot factorize them. So what you do is just the multiple must be the common denominator, must be the lowest common multiple. So if you could factorize them, then maybe you could find some, some things which are common there, but then they are non-existent. So you just have to take the denominators as they are. So the uh, year two minus three n into this, we are left with n, n times two. So you get two n minus n into this, n cancels, and then we're left with this. But then be careful. You need to use brackets. Why? Because this negative is distributive. So this negative is distributive. So you get 2n minus 2 here, minus and minus, you get plus 3n here over n 2 minus 3n here equal to. And uh, here you get 5n minus 2 over n, 2 minus 3n, like this. So this is it, and you'll be done. This will be a single fraction in its lowest terms. Let's move quickly to number 10. Number 10 says the, uh, the, the matrix x plus 2, 4, 6, x is singular find the possible values of x and just a quick note it says the possible values it doesn't say value so whenever we see uh, values it usually means that um, we are going to deal with the uh, quadratic equation somehow and that's okay we get to deal with it uh, and how we do it is to uh, so for if you're given a matrix a b c d let's say this one is matrix a and you're asked to find the determinant for A. So determinant of A is equal to you. So AD minus CB. So this will be the determinant for, for A. So you just remember this. So this this one's multiply and you say minus this diagonal, the, more, the product of this diagonal. So yeah, so uh, the determinant, if you want to be pro about it, this is how you you write it. This means determinant is equal to, so it's x plus 2 times x minus 4 by 6, like this. And you're given that the matrix is singular, so this one should be equal to 0. And the reason is a singular matrix as determinant zero. So it has zero determinant, so that's why you get zero here. So expand here, you get x squared plus 2x minus 24 equal to zero. So yeah, I'm just going to use this so that there's no confusion. So here you have to find two factors here. Our coefficient is one, there's no coefficient here. So we can find, we can directly find two factors such that when you multiply them, you get negative 24. When you add them, you get two. So the way that we uh, teach our students at Prima Ed is that take this 24, break it apart. So it can be 
um, so take this 24 break it apart so that it can be 24 by 1 for example so you can divide this by 2 you get 12 by if you divide this by 2 multiply this by 2 you get 2 this is how you find factors and you can divide this by any number you can even try 3 if you want let's try 3 this time so 12 divided by 3 you get what you get 4 and 3 times the same number that you divide on one side you have to multiply on the other side and notice that all these numbers they give you 24 when you multiply them so you need 2 so these ones you can use to get 2 and how do you use to get 2 it means um, 4 has to be negative so 6 can be positive and 4 has to be negative so x minus 4 the x plus 6 equal to 0 then x is equal to x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 6 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 4 or minus 6 like this and you're done so i hope you're happy we are going to continue from question 11 next